kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. <sighs> it's your turn tonight. No, I did it last night. It's your turn tonight. Look, you do it tonight, and I'll do it all next week. Do what? What's the argument about? It's about which one of us is gonna have to do the cute kitty routine. I might as well get it over with. <laughs> you guys still doing that? We have to, we don't eat. So demeaning. Ooh. <laughs> Kitty cat, I have some nice cat food for you. Meow. Kitty cat, you are so adorable. <laughs> purr, purr. Give me the food, lady. Purr. It's it's just undignified. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. A nice, delicious helping of yummy beef delight in gravy. Mmm, yum. Purr, purr, purr. Now you share that with all your little kitty friends. Hey, little kitty friends, supper! <laughs> Be careful, guys. Some of that's actually getting in your mouth. <laughs> Yummy beef delight and gravy. You know what that means? These are the parts of the cow that no one but a starving cat would ever eat. You don't ever eat cat food, Garfield? Not if I can help it, and usually I can help it. Hey, I stopped eating cat food years ago because, well, it was a horrifying experience. You want to hear about it? Uh, no, not really. Uh -oh. No, not at all. Hey, uh... Great. I used to eat this stuff just like all of you. I'll be with you in a second, Liz. Just as soon as I finish serving Garfield. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. I was enjoying my meal a lot. Little did I suspect. John, did you notice what you gave him? This is a can of Odie's dog food. Huh, that's kind of funny. Um, hey, Garfield, you'll never guess what I did. I accidentally served you Odie's dog food. Sorry. <laughs> How about that? Hmm, tastes pretty good. And it turns out to be dog food. Well, I guess you never knew. Dog food? <laughs> Dog food. I eat dog food. Dog food. Oh, John, how could you do this to me? But tasty. Feeding Garfield dog food won't hurt him, right? Of course not. But you ought to pay more attention to his diet. What you eat has a lot to do with who you are. Putting the wrong food into a body can change it forever. After all, oh. you are what you eat. I am what I eat, but I just ate dog food. <gasps> what? You are what you eat. You are what you eat. You are what you eat. If that's true, how come I'm not lasagna? Huh? Never mind that now. <gasps> I eat dog food. What if it's true and it changes me into... into... <laughs> One of these! Huh? <laughs> huh? Odie, I eat dog food. Do you understand what I'm telling you? I eat dog food! I don't want to turn into a dog! Huh? I told myself it couldn't possibly happen. But then, I began to notice little strange things. It wasn't me. Oh. <sighs> then it got worse. Oh no, doggy tongue. 
<laughs> I found myself staying up all night, howling pointlessly and foolishly at the moon. Huh? Oh. Odie! Stop howling pointlessly and foolishly at the moon! Huh? And that's when I realized it was true. Garfield the cat was now Garfield the dog. Well, it was time to accept my new life. Ruff. Bow wow, ruff, ruff, ruff. Whoa, that's not bad. Didn't think I could learn a foreign language, did you? Okay, might as well go join my fellow dogs. There was a band of tough pooches that used to always hang around one corner. Hey, keep an eye out. Those dog catchers, they've been working this area lately. Hi, guys. What do you want to do today? Chase cars? Look for fire hydrants? What do you want, cat? Cat? Where? Oh, you mean me? No, I'm not a cat, I'm a dog. Listen. See, not a cat. Hey, maybe we could go chase cats. I know where one named Nermal lives. Arf, arf. Bow wow, yip, yip. Hey, this guy's crazy. Yeah, let's get away from him. Hey, wait, guys. Let's do doggy things like fetch sticks and, and roll over and, and play dead. Arf, bow wow, rough. Bow wow, arf. <laughs> Oh no, dog catchers, and me without a dog license. We all fled for our lives, but the dog catchers were too fast for us. After them, Pete! Yeah, they won't get away from us! In no time at all, we were behind bars. Who won, Rottweiler? One Rottweiler. One Chihuahua with a bad attitude. One Chihuahua with a bad attitude. <laughs> one Mutt. One Mutt. And here's the last one. One Overweight Pussycat. One Overweight Pussycat. One Overweight Pussycat. <laughs> hey, Pete. We caught a cat. No, 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 I'm a dog. D-O-G, dog. Uh, what do we do? We're not supposed to catch cats. Uh, you sure this is a cat? No, I'm a dog. Look, bow wow, ruff, ruff. <laughs> oh, at last. They realize I'm a dog. Hey, because I'm a dog, I'm behind bars. <sighs> Maybe I didn't think this through properly. Time to feed our new guests. The city couldn't get any more dog food, so they ordered cat food again. <gasps> I guess I must be a dog. I'm stupider than I used to be. Supper time, guys. For feeding your cat food, but don't worry. <laughs> it's the same thing. Cat food is the same as dog food? Sure, we often get cat food. Yeah, quite frankly, I prefer it. What do you think? Eating cat food turns a dog into a cat? <laughs> <laughs> then I'm not a dog, I'm a cat. Yes, a cat. Meow, meow, meow. Thank goodness, a cat. I don't want to be a stupid, mangy old dog. Dogs are disgusting. Dogs are repulsive. Dogs are my roommates. Uh -huh. No, please stop.
back. Don't hurt me. I'm a recovering dog. Stop! <laughs> it's truly amazing I ever got out of there. And since that day, I've avoided dog food or cat food. It's strictly people food for me. Huh? Well, I can see my story had them riveted at attention. Oh, looks like your kitty friends left. Would you like some cat food? Uh, thanks, but no thanks, lady. I had an idea I had to go home and try. Mmm, this is delicious. Mmm. Uh, I've learned something, Odie. It doesn't matter if a dog eats cat food or a cat eats dog food. Uh-huh. But if you sneak cat food onto a human's plate, you can have a lot of fun. Meow. I think I'm going to meow. Go get seconds. Meow. <laughs> 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 Why, <thank you. Drapes, did it. Eat breakfast, did it. Three times. Kick puppy off the table, did it. Four times. Let's see what's next. Now, yeah, that's perfect. John should be bringing me my lunch soon. Oh, just sit me a little bit of sleepy time here. Here's your lunch, Garfield. Oh, he'll find it when he wakes up. And with marinara sauce, no less. Where's John with that lunch? <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Finally, John has learned the right size to make a sandwich. <laughs> this is gonna take more than one bite. Mm -hmm. Hey, Bart, find your own incredibly large sandwich. Mm. 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 A giant pigeon! And another! And another! Giant pigeons are attacking! This is terrible! Especially if you're a statue in the park. Hey, that's my incredibly large sandwich. Find your own incredibly large sandwich. I just violated a basic rule of safety. Never anger a pigeon larger than you are. Help! Help! Giant pigeons! Pigeons that are way too big! Help! Help! Huh? I need a place to hide. Huh? Like I didn't have enough problems? Now I've got an incredibly large Odie. Oh. Ah! Ah! Quick, Odie, hide me. Thank 
Thanks, Jody. By the way, you could really use a mint. Cheddar goes over here, camembert over there. I'll put the Swiss in this box full of holes. <laughs> Hi, Yodi. I was just doing a little cheese sorting. You have something in your mouth? <laughs> Wait, let me guess. A doggy toy? <laughs> One of John's slippers? <laughs> Okay, I give up. What is it? Wow. Garfield, that would have been my next guess. Squeak, you've grown too. You're my size. No, you're my size. Oh, yeah, I guess so. What happened to me? Must be all those diets John keeps putting me on. They all kicked in at once. <laughs> I don't think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> What is it, boy? Across the street from that house. <laughs> you think that blue light has anything to do with your downsizing? Sure looks that way. Come on, I've got to find out what that light is and how to undo it. Garfield, wait. Well, getting across streets isn't so easy when you're our size. Hey, I know how to cross the street. Hey, watch it, watch it. I'm walking here. Where's a crossing guard when you need one? Okay, now, I have to get into that house and find out what that weird blue light was. Easier said than done. <gasps> okay, how am I gonna get in there? It's Vito, making a delivery here. Aha, my greatest creation, Vito's lasagna. Michelangelo, eat your heart out. Vito here. Ah, yes, Mrs. Bacigalup. I will be delivering your large pepperoni in ten minutes. I would gladly stay this small if all lasagna could be this big. Don't you worry, Mr. Bacigalup. I just have to deliver one at the house I am in the front of. A ciao. <gasps> From now on, when John orders a large, I'm expecting this. He's delivering the order with Garfield in it. So, is your son still making with the, uh, the interventions? Oh, yes, he is. Oh, thank you very much, Vito. Prego. Oh, Nathan, dear, lunch has arrived. In a minute, Mother. After lunch, Maxwell, I'm going to try using my size-altering ray to make something bigger. <gasps> oh, this looks so good. Oh, I got lasagna with meat sauce and ricotta cheese and spinach and a pussycat uh -huh. and parmesan. Oh, oh, my goodness. <gasps> what? Uh, hello, Vito. Vito, I did not order a pussycat in my lasagna. That's right. I said pussycat. <laughs> I've got to find whatever made that blue light. What do you mean there's no extra charge for the pussycat? Came from upstairs. 
The light came from this side of the house. Do you hear four sets of footsteps? <laughs> it's not fair. He has four times as many legs as I do. You know, I'd like to apologize for any spiders I may have swatted over the years. This is it. I am so doomed. Don't hurt him, Maxwell. He's the cat from across the street. I tested my size-altering ray on him and it worked. Now I want to see if it'll make something larger. But what should I test it on? Me, 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 me! Volunteer, yahoo! Oh, oh, here! I know. I'll see if I can enlarge my lunch. Then I'll have a huge lasagna. <sighs> a huge lasagna. What a great idea. Wait a minute. I need to focus on getting myself back to my old size. I'll adjust the dial from shrink to enlarge. <laughs> Maxwell, where'd the kitty cat go? Never mind. He can't get away. Okay, here we go. Wow! That's a giant sized lasagna. And a normal sized me. You think you're clever, cat? Well, I'll just shrink you again. Oh, hey, no. Oh. Oh, I better get out of here. Hmm. Couldn't resist. Now my machine's so small. It'll take months to generate enough enlarging power to put me back to my normal size. Oh, Nathan. Now you're gone and shrunk yourself. Oh, well, I guess it's better than that time you turned the house into an interplanetary space cruiser. Here's your dinner, guys. Hope you like it. <laughs> nice to have you back to your old size, Goff. Yeah, uh, thanks for the help, Squeak. Something on your mind, Garfield? Hey, a guy can dream, Candy. So good to see you again. <sighs> You're looking quite well today. Zanya's my friend. Time to eat. Um, 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 um. <laughs> This is an outer age. We cannot let this thing go unpunished. Revenge! 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 What 
revolting sight, O oh, glorious leader. That orange monster continues to devour beings such as us. Yes, General. But thankfully, the galaxy will soon be rid of him and his entire planet. <laughs> If I didn't know better, I'd say I just saw a flying ravioli go by. <gasps> Whoop, not so fast. Gotcha. Oh well. Ravioli is a ravioli. Transmission interrupted. The vile orange creature just ate the spying device. Revenge! 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 People of Aparma! As your leader, I have ordered that the evil orange monster and its barbaric planet be destroyed at once! Operation Blasteroid is a go! Stretch! Launch! Dr. Bonkers! Dr. Bonkers! Stratospheric radar detects a large object hurtling towards Earth! Oh, this doesn't look good! Wow! This doesn't look good at all! So, do you want to watch Binky the Clown? Nope. My contract says he's not allowed on this series. We interrupt this program to bring you breaking news. Oh. This is Dr. Thaddeus Bonkers. Doctor, would you tell our viewers what you just told me? Certainly. A giant asteroid is heading straight for planet Earth. What? <gasps> yes, it will strike in exactly 13 hours and 13 minutes and 13 <gasps> seconds and destroy the entire world. Ah, <laughs> There's one chance. We have a rocket ship that could fly up and destroy the asteroid before it reaches us. Thank goodness. <laughs> you said it. The problem is that no one can fit into the rocket in order to fly it. You say that the spaceship's cockpit was designed by a former cartoonist? Yes, and for some reason, he designed these spacesuits in the shapes of an obese pussycat and an empty-headed puppy dog. Our only hope is to find someone who fits into these spacesuits, who could therefore fly the rocket up and save the world. <laughs> you won't actually have to fly the rocket. Everything will be controlled and monitored by ground control. Good. We have nothing to worry about. As soon as the rocket lands on the asteroid, you will go out and deposit the payload. Bad. Huh? We have much to worry about. To oh. activate the payload, you only need to push the button on the tube. Then you'll have ten minutes to return to the rocket and leave the asteroid before it explodes. Good luck. You'll need it. Mankind is counting on you guys. If I were mankind, I'd be worried. Nine, eight, seven, four, three. What happened to six and five? Soon the evil barbaric planet will be reduced to rubble! Glorious leader, there seems to be an object flying towards the blasteroid. A primitive spacecraft. And it looks like it is going to land on the blasteroid.
Bodhi, we're a hundred thousand miles from Earth. A hundred thousand miles from civilization. And worst of all, a hundred thousand miles from Vito's Pizzeria. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they deliver this far. Okay, guys. Drop off the payload. Activate it and return to the rocket immediately. What's he think we're gonna do up here? Wait for an ice cream truck to come by? Odie. Do you smell something familiar? Uh huh. If I didn't know better, I'd say it's. Oops. <laughs> yes! Just as I thought, Odie. This asteroid, it's a giant meatball. Yes, we are on a meteor. Yippee! What is he doing? Is he eating the asteroid? The rocket's probe has analyzed the composition of the asteroid. It's made of onion and garlic-infused beef. <sighs> Leave it to Garfield to find the biggest meatball in the universe. You're endangering the mission! Drop the payload and get- Quiet, I'm eating. Can the creature really eat the entire blasteroid? Yes, it can. I have seen it dining before. It is insatiable. Yikes. Houston, we have a problem. Look at him. How is he going to get back into the rocket? There is a very simple way. Wish I knew what it was. Bodhi, I can't go back into the rocket. Any bright ideas? Uh-uh. Of course not. You're Odie. The brightest idea you ever had was chasing your tail for nine hours. The rocket is about to blast off. Garfield is going to be left stranded in outer space. Thanks, Odie. I knew you'd come up with something. Actually, I didn't. I just said that to make him feel good. Well done, Odie. You saved Garfield's life. Not really. Garfield is the asteroid now. Earth is doomed once again! I'm deflating every time I burp. Denise! He is almost back to his normal size! Our planet is safe! <laughs> Where's Garfield? Maybe, maybe. Welcome back, Garfield. You were heroic. Yes, I was. And you owe me big time. I'm going to make a list. I'm starving. Italian, anyone? Oh, no. Okay, suit yourself. We'll go eat without you. I know a great... I'm not touching food of any kind for a long, long time. Especially... Did he say Italian? <laughs> Remember how I used to say that I would go to the ends of the universe for lasagna? <laughs> well... I did! Hey, 
people of Parma, once again, the evil orange monster wins, but it's not over. There will be a sequel, and we will have our revenge! Do for ice cream. <laughs> Here it goes. <laughs> Don't waste your time, Garf. Squeak, how'd you know I was up here? I know all, I see all, and I see that the ice cream truck will hit a pothole in the street, and a case of chocolate num num bars with almonds will pop out. Chocolate num num bars with almonds. Told you, I have developed the power to see into the future. <laughs> by the way, the garbage truck is about to come by, and when it hits the same pothole, you'll be covered with 30 pounds of rotten mackerel. You know, I always like a little smelly fish with my chocolate num num bars. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, now that I'm defished, I need to find out how Squeak did that. <sighs> you want to know how I know what's going to happen before it happens. John's doing chores. He's about to hit his thumb with a hammer. How could you possibly know? Oh, oh. oh that hurts! Oh. I'll hide. He's going to come in and say, oh, I smashed my poor little thumb with that big hammer. <laughs> oh, I smashed my poor little thumb with that big hammer. And now he's going to trip over Odie. Odie, oh. look out! <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to wander off wondering how I do this. <laughs> Right again. You're wondering, too. Well, I'll let you in on the secret. I've been doing something you've been doing. That's right. In fact, you're doing it right this second. Come on. I've been watching the Garfield Show. John got this new satellite dish with all these new channels. And on one of them, guess what I found? Here it comes. Boy, what I won't do for ice cream. <laughs> yes! Here it goes. So you see, the reason I know what's going to happen before it happens is that I've seen this cartoon already. Yeah, really. John and Garfield, they don't know about this terrific channel. And they don't know I've been recording episodes and storing them on the video recorder here. The episode you're watching, it's a rerun, and I recorded it three weeks ago. Here, I'll jump ahead. I'll jump ahead. Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> Let's see what happens in the next scene. Squeak, I don't know how you predict the future, but... I know, I know. You want me to feed you my predictions and you'll become famous as the cat who can predict the future. Future, future. Deal. 
<laughs> That's coming up. I better get in there so I can be in that scene. Huh? Okay, here's my idea, Odie. I'll give out Squeak's predictions, and I'll become famous as the cat who can predict the future. future. Oh. Oh. Squeak. I don't know how you predict the future, but... I know, I know. You want me to feed you my predictions and you'll become famous as the cat who can predict the future, future, future. Deal. <laughs> Come on, Odie. Let's get to work. Uh -huh. Now comes the part where I give Garfield predictions and he passes them on to John. Garfield, I don't know how you knew that meteor was going to crash down to Earth, but you shoved me aside just in time. <laughs> and earlier, you guessed who'd win that soccer match, and you even knew the final score. <gasps> Is it possible you've become the cat who can predict the future, future, future? Hmm. How did I know you were going to say that? Why? The scientific community has been rocked by reports of a cat that can predict the future. In the last seven days, Garfield Cat has predicted the outcome of the American World Series the outcome of the Indianapolis 500 motor race, and the outcome of the legendary Kentucky Derby. He also amazingly predicted that those three events, usually held months apart, would all, for some reason, take place in the same week. But perhaps the cat's most impressive forecast came to You're famous, Garfield. I don't know how you do it. Tonight, Garfield's powers will be tested on a special telecast of the TV series Somebody's got talent. If he can indeed predict the future, he will win one million dollars. <laughs> That's right. We'll win one million dollars. I'll win one million dollars. I'm going to get ready to go down to the station. Come on, Odie. Ready to go, Squeak? I'll meet you down there, Garf. There's something I gotta do first. Suit yourself. Just make sure you're there to give me the predictions so I'll pass their test. John probably thinks I'll spend the whole million on lasagna, but that's silly. I'll spend half on ravioli. I realized something. I realized I'd never watched the end of this episode. Here we go, guys. When we return home, we'll have a million bucks. I'll have a million bucks. I need to know what happens in the end so I'll know what to tell Garfield is gonna happen. What? Episode deleted? That can't be. I I must have accidentally hit the delete button. It's gone. What am I gonna do if I can't watch the end of this episode? I know. This episode is on right now. It is. You're watching it, right? Well, then I can watch it. I just need to turn to the channel. The Garfield Show will not be seen, so we can bring you tonight's special edition of Somebody's Got Talent! No, no! We've been preempted! The show's not on! Quick, call the station and complain! <laughs> oh, no! Garfield's gonna be so mad! And right now, that's the only thing I can predict! And now, the host of Somebody's Got Talent! Good evening. As usual, I'm joined tonight by the lovely actress, Kate Turkey Baster. I vote no. Not yet. Wait until there's an act on stage. And also with us is the famous food critic, Eddie Gourmand. Hello, world. That's right. I'm talking to each and every one of you. Ready to go on, Garfield? No. Where's my mouse? Tonight, our first contestant is a local cat who claims to be able to predict the future. I vote yes! Not yet. We've arranged a special test, which of course he will fail, because it's impossible to predict the future. I just knew you'd say that. I vote no. You stay out of this. I have every right to say what I want to say. Well, where do we go? I can't talk. You don't know what you're talking well, about. How did you know that? This isn't All right. Say, and I can even talk Come about on. food if I want. Can I get a word in here, please? <laughs> Gotta get there. No. <laughs> Garfield will be asked to predict which of the 52 playing cards I will draw from the deck. 
If he's right, he will win one million dollars. <laughs> and just to make things interesting, if Garfield is wrong, his owner, Mr. Arbuckle, will be dropped into this <laughs> vat containing 10 tons of rancid cottage cheese. I voted for soft frozen yogurt. Ooh, I love soft frozen yogurt. All right, Garfield. For $1 million, what card did I pick? <laughs> Where are you? You have 15 seconds, Garfield. Squeak, how could you abandon me like this? I'm gonna have to just take a wild guess. I'll pick the three of clubs. Huh? Uh-oh. I'm just gonna have to guess. Uh, Jack of Diamonds? Time's up, Garfield. What card am I holding? <sighs> the Jack of Diamonds? No, I'm sorry. It was the three of clubs. Garfield! Is John mad at you? No, not really. He did say, though, that the only thing he's gonna feed me for the next year is rancid cottage cheese. Hey, Squeak, how did you make those accurate predictions? I've been watching the Garfield show. What? This show. It's on this great channel I found on the TV. Look. Whoa. Is John mad at you? You've just been watching this episode? Uh, squeak, when I get my hands uh -oh. on you, yeah. Don't hurt me, Garfield. I'm sorry. happened one cold and rainy, stormy night. I know because I was there. Odie, no one cares if you were there. The point is that I was there. Okay, now where was I? Oh, right. The nightmare began with the arrival of some unannounced night visitor. Who could that be at this time of the night? Oh! Ah! It's yeah. Aunt Ivy! Ivy. Are you gonna invite me in, Jonathan? Or am I expected to stand out here all night in the rain? I vote for all night out there in the rain. What a... delightful surprise, Aunt Ivy. Uh, please, come in. <laughs> um, uh, what brings you here? Suitcase. Not a good sign. The tree fell on the power line outside my house. They said it might take a week before power returns, so here I am. Huh? I see you still have those two mangy creatures. Full of germs, you know. Yes, yes, full of germs, very contagious, and sickening germs. Yeah. Well, at least it covers some of her face. with those cute fuzzy bunny slippers you bought me. <laughs> They're alive! Oh. Oh. Red 
ridiculous. No one with half a brain could actually wear such pathetic looking slippers. Uh, actually, I happen to own a pair just like them. You just made my point. That's an IV one, John Nothing. <laughs> Bunny slippers. Bah! People should wear sensible slippers like mine. Slippers that look like giant carrots. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Aunt Ivy's right. This movie is silly. Let's call it a night. Hey, just when it was getting interesting. Aunt Ivy, uh, why don't you take my bedroom? I was already planning on it. Mm. Just make sure those animals sleep outside. They're filthy and germ-ridden and... Ah! Odie, you fetched my bunny slippers. Uh, hey, Aunt Ivy, don't they look just like the ones from the movie? I am not going to bed until you get rid of those abominable things. <laughs> Relax, Aunt Ivy. It was just a movie. Get rid of them! <sighs> All right. But bunny slippers can't hurt you. No, but having a fat lady fall on you can. <laughs> <laughs> Set one paw in my room, and you'll be sorry you ever met me. It's a little late for that. <laughs> Night, guys. Odie, fetch. <laughs> Is everything all right? Oh, the bunny slippers are after me! <laughs> They're not there anymore. There's nothing out there, Aunt Ivy. I know what I saw. It must be your two mangy pets playing tricks on me. Garfield and Odie? Do you really think they do something rotten to you? <laughs> I must have been dreaming. I thought I saw. <sighs> Night, Aunt Ivy. Good night, guys. I need to get some sleep. Maybe these earplugs will make that possible. After leave so soon, we'll hurry back. Like around the turn of the century. Hey, you guys deserve an Oscar for the best special effect. We had a deal. Oh, sorry. Huh? Here you go, Squeak. This was a good deal. You got anyone else you want scared out of here? <laughs> wow. You guys are getting really good at this. Coffee? We're not doing anything. <gasps> the bunny slippers. And Ivy! Garfield! Odie! <laughs> Are you guys trying to tell me something? Behind you! I'm 
calling the police. Hello? Yeah, right. Like they're gonna believe a guy who calls up and says, I want to report a pair of evil bunny slippers. What? Give me the address. We'll be right over. Jacobs, we have a 743 on our hands. Oh no. Evil bunny slippers. Let's roll. Be careful, man. Remember how you've been trained for just this situation? Area is secure. Roger. Your tax dollars at work. Hey, I know you. You're that mad scientist who once sucked my cat into the TV set. Huh? The animators are reusing another character design from last season. Do you know anything about these sinister bunny slippers? Of course! Oh! I'm a mad scientist! We know everything! But we kept it secret so as to not cause any discomfort to the population. How very thoughtful of you. The bunny slippers only come alive on the blue moon nights, which happen once every 2.55546 years. So bunny slippers come alive on blue moons? Not only that, they also tend to <laughs> tend to grow at an alarmingly exponential rate. Not to worry, daylight will return them to their harmless original selves. And according to my calculation, the sun will rise in exactly five hours. <gasps> five hours? The entire town will be destroyed in five hours. We've got to do something. <gasps> <laughs> Goodness gracious! This could indeed do the trick! The all-night tanning salon? That's on the other side of town! We need some kind of bait! And there's the perfect bait standing right in front of you. Huh? Why are you all staring at my beloved carrot slippers? <laughs> Get me down! Let me loose! Or I'll have you arrested! Tanning salon. For my vacation, I'd like to go somewhere that's as cute as I am. But there isn't any place that cute. Our field. What are you doing here? Normal. You know how I'm always telling you to leave. Well, this time it's for your own good. But I haven't finished my tropical style fur tan. Whoa. Please, I'm just a cute, innocent. Listen, meow, meow, meow. Where did you I think it's time for a little summer glow. And from their throats came this howl, a wailing shriek, half of horror and half of fear, utterly inhuman and. Garfield, you are totally making this up. Absolutely not. That's normal. All true. Every word of it. The following day, the police went door to door and collected every pair of bunny slippers in the neighborhood, just to be on the safe side. But of course, the best part was... After what you and that cat of yours did to me, I'm never coming back. Not in a million years. That means like about eight weeks. Hey, but I'll take what I can get. So until then, we live happily ever after. Uh, great, Garfield, but isn't that another blue moon like in your story? Who cares? The bunny slippers are all gone, right, Odie? 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 <laughs> <laughs> 